Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round two of the Miss McKinney 2020 tournament. Kelsey, going in round two, how are you feeling? Yep, going in round two, I had my lunch. I'm a fat and happy cat. Um, I'm just trying to replicate the first shot that I did in round one and try to throw that zone as flat as I can. But as you can see, I kind of threw it on a, what is that, hyzer? Well, it's more just the... I wouldn't say so much the angle out of your hand was bad. It was just mo you didn't give it enough height. Okay, okay. So you threw it kind of too f too low and it never got a chance to kind of get out of its flight. So I'm taking that same zone. I'm trying to get up. Oh my gosh, and I hit the freaking change. I thought it was going in. I have actually several shots like that. I'm really round. happy. I'm really happy you hit the chains because I was terrified oh. I was going long OB. Oh boy. With how, with how hard you threw it. All right, and that's a par. That was a terrible putt. I am surprised that went in. Uh, yeah, your putts uh, aren't, I would say, aren't dead center yet. <laughs> no, they're um, not accurate at all. But tournament putting, it's a different feel. Um, you know, when you're practicing, it's a lot easier just to slam it into the chains. See, that one you gave a, a little yeah. bit more height, and it, it flew out, and that was perfect. Yeah, that was that one of your better get freaky shots all day. Trying to throw it flat and give some umph to it i mean having a 15 foot putt for birdie Gosh. you're under par right now <clears throat> i know but i'm just looking at that disc wobbling <laughs> yeah your putting stroke is not where it needs to be but then again you don't practice so going out every time you go out your putting stroke is going to be completely different so i'm trying to obviously again replicate the first shot that um i did in round one but i threw it kind of too much like a baseball too much what is that hyzer yeah Oh, no, too much Anheuser. Taking my uh, orange zone, that's what I call it. That's Brody's old zone that he used to have in his bag, and I just nose it down. I, I, I think don't know this is, what I did. So I think you have – oh, busting out the scuba, by the way. But I think you have an issue when you go standstill and you try to throw hard. Yeah, it's like I just don't have enough power, obviously, because I'm not in motion yeah, I just don't think, disc. I don't think standstill is a good play for you if you're trying to throw it with I power. I don't think I make this. Oh, I that do. Was, that was actually a really good putt. I do. Wow. Okay. That was a really good putt. Still I coming out with a lot of hyzer, but dead center, um, good height, bogey, so now you're back to even par. All right. Um, this one, what is, what is, oh, this, this is, is the one I got, a, one. this is the one I got a birdie on last Yeah, you threw it right round. underneath the basket, and you threw that one really well, uh, really good as well, but you threw it too high, so it kind of just glided, it had like, too much glide, um, didn't get to the ground fast enough, but you still have a great birdie look here. What's going through your head here? Um, don't do that. That's like worst case scenario. I know, I miss so far right, and you know, how I putt, I throw it like almost vertical <laughs> and then it just lifted up and yeah. just rolled just rolled and then of course got discouraged from that first putt so now a hole that i took a birdie on the first round i'm what dub i'm bogeying it yeah Did those I bogey are, it? Yeah. Well, yeah you bogey those are the those are the rough ones because it's like you have a good birdie look and then you walk away with a bogey it's like oh, the and last then thing you that want. happens yeah this is disc golf this oh. is this is what disc golf looks like um especially when you don't practice yeah. Um, wow. That wow. was very close. But you obviously have a lot of natural ability to be Great able to throw job. some of the shots you are throwing with literally limited practice. And doing know. it under tournament conditions is really impressive. Yeet. See, that's like that's yeats. not bad. We need to get we need to get that more, more dialed in. Yeah, like laying up under the basket. With so, a backhand. Yeah. With a backhand. Yeah. And with your get freaky too, not just always your putter. Sometimes busting out the get freaky. So you can throw it and have it skip up to the left. So I got a little confident here on this hole. Um, I decided to go with my thrasher because I was like, all right, I'm just going to, well, didn't go to plan. But what I was thinking in my head, I was going to say, all right, throw it flat so it flexes out at the end, but not too far right so I don't lose my thrasher like I did in the, pra the practice round. A little nice little get freaky up shot there. Yep. I kind of wanted out, it obviously more closer to the basket. I still think you threw it with a, uh, you threw it a little too Anheuser out of your hand instead of flat or a little hyzer, and so that's why it stayed a little bit more left. Woo! Great. But there's Gosh. another good putt. Garage putts all day long. That's another good par. <laughs> that's a par there. So now now you're two over for the round, grinding it out. And we uh, obviously there was two other girls in your division. Mm -hmm. They're both on this card with you. 
And, you know, I think going into it, you definitely had the mindset of, I just want to play for fun and not really think too much about where I finish. Yeah. Um, so we weren't really paying attention. <clears throat> you weren't really paying attention to where you were standing overall. No, I wasn't at all. I don't even think I looked at the scorecard until later into this round. I was like, where am I? Yeah. I, I think that's smart for a lot of newer players out there is don't, don't get so uh, caught up on the leaderboard. It's kind of like the Peloton, right? We, we have yeah. a Peloton here at home and we love it. And a lot of times they'll tell you just to focus on how you're doing compared to yourself previously and uh, right, not how other people are doing. So this shot right here, um, I'll just let you, I'll just let it play through. I'm like, yeah, go that way. Do you All know right, what that's called? Sit down. Please stop rolling. And it's gone, folks. Do you know the name of that? A Froller? Yeah, Throller. Throller. So she did end up going in the water here. So she's throwing her third shot after her drop and penalty. And I'm just trying to get as far up as I can. That's where you need to Closest to, yeah. like, not to very That's close fun. to the OB, but close enough. We've got some friends out here trying to grab my <laughs> disc for me. Yeah, Thank you was so a, much. This guy was a champ uh, going down there while we were still playing and recording. Um, so that was super nice of him to do that. I'm just sitting there watching. Yeah. But I do have to shoot because it is a tournament. Tournament play. And this was a very scary shot. OB short, OB right, OB left. Yeah. And he threw a pretty good one, just a little too hard. Yeah. So this Very is far putt. And I was like, you know what? Birdie told me to lay up, but I was like, all right, I'm just going to go for it. And yeah, I was scared it was going to roll got, down in the OB. And I got juiced for it a little bit. I thought I was going to make it. You know how Brody says, if you're feeling it. And I was like, all right, I'm feeling it. Well, that's that shows you that that's a good putt, though. Um, all right, update on the situation. And this guy actually, they actually got the disc. He so wasn't got, able to grab it, it with a stick. This guy over and this here, guy, I think, was trying to grab it without going in the water. But it's so muddy, he slipped it in, in the, in the, go, in the water. <laughs> so we gave him 10 bucks <laughs> oh for his troubles. Um, luckily it wasn't freezing that day and the sun felt good. I'm sure the rest of the round as he dried out, <clears throat> man, I played this whole, I think pretty well in my practice round and I just biffed it during both rounds of the tournament. It's not a, I don't know how, what you threw in the practice round, but I actually ended up missing. This is one of the few putts. Oh I yeah. He did miss that putt. I did par it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think you need the, the, the buzz SS on that hole. That was a good shot too. I just gave it a little too much height, so it flexed out at the end. Nice. Yeah, but that was oh, that was well done. I think you can. I think watching this, you can see like, I man, thought... I'm like actually not that far off from being pretty. Ooh. I thought you were gonna make that. I'm not far off from being like pretty decent. Oh, I'm not decent right now. Uh, I think I'm decent right now. I think if I, I practice, I'd be good. I would say you're decent. Not great. You're definitely above average for how much you've played disc golf. Yeah, I don't practice at all. I know. I, hear, <laughs> hear me out. You're above average for how much you play. I'm letting them know. I'm letting them yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider you decent. Wow. In comparison to all female players. Yeah, there are some pretty good female players. I would there. say if you practice, you could definitely be good. You could skip decent and go straight to good. Well, how about this? If I was playing it around with you and your friends, could I like play? Oh, I threw that way. Yeah, like I threw yeah. that way too accurate. If we played Alex Clark, it wouldn't be like, oh gosh, Kelsey's playing with us. But if we played like a longer course, oh, I'd be juiced. Yeah, because you you. Only, I would only shoot on par threes. <laughs> yeah, because backhand. I, honestly, the fact that you can throw your forehand as well as you can, I would say you have a a a, a good forehand. I would say that. Thanks. Your forehand is probably better than a lot of. Watch out! <laughs> and, and you almost, you almost black. No, Lance. Okay, Lance is getting excited too. But um, you almost black it aced on camera, which would have been absolutely insane. But like your upshots, it's you can tell your upshots are. I would say these are your two strongest parts: your upshot game with your zone, and your forehand flex. Both are really, really good. If, but you I, made throw, a part if I throw it right. Yeah. <laughs> if I get well, lucky and throw it right. But that's just consistency. That's just you getting comfortable and, and being able to do it over and over again. This hole's this hole's really tough for you. Yeah, we got we had a headwind. Yeah, this hole's tough. So it was it was a yeah, it was a headwind on first or a yeah, headwind on first round. 
back wind on second round, and then I was shooting into a back wind. Wait, Dark tailwind. Horse. This is this also. <laughs> you need to have a back end. You, for that one. Yeah. I should have thrown my buzz SS. You did. I did. Oh, yeah, I forehand. I, I mean that that was as best as you could have done, but it's still a really <clears throat> tricky shot for a forehand. It's tricky. But that's where if you had a backhand, that's such an easy backhand shot. It's tricky, tricky, yeah. tricky, tricky. And you just throw it underneath the basket, which is nice. And, oh, right here. Okay, this, yep, yeah, right here. This is where we kind of explained to some of the girls. I think you saw. Dude. I think you saw girls Legal. doing that, and that's what because you weren't doing that yeah. when we when we've played. You've here, never done. I that. think you're talking. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I learned quickly that you, you can't cannot that. you cannot do that. Yeah, there was a couple girls that were just smacking the chains when they were close, and we were like, "Hey, just for future reference, you can't do that." AKA, it was all towards me because I didn't hear anyone say, "Okay, Does this shot right comfy? here, straddle scoover." Brody told me to go for it. I was like, "All right, you know what I'm feeling it." Yeet! All right, I can't even <laughs> believe I made that. I'll, I'll oh, say right now that is that one of the cool. best putts I've ever seen in person. Thank you. Out of out of every every pro I've played with, that's definitely one of the best putts I've ever seen. I mean, honestly, let's be let's be real. That was pure luck. I don't. You made it look very skillful. Oh, thanks. So Trying, I don't, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But I, I feel like that's definitely a top ten putt on and it's this okay. channel. I can Maybe I can top handle top five putt on this channel. And I can handle honesty. Yeah, well, just I just, don't be don't be mean. I mean, I just told no, you you weren't decent. Yeah, I, mean, I was being honest. I mean, See, okay. I can handle honest. This is where I think you got to run up because you're trying to throw oh. it hard. You're trying to throw it hard from a standstill. And you see my face? I was like, why did that not fly? How I thought it was going to. And uh, I think you have this distance dialed clearly because you you're just under the basket. Great job, but I think you just start running up on the bigger shots. I just like I'm just like so focused on the foot fault. Look at that. Yeah. That's proper form. Yeah, I literally was like, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> After I got yelled at, I was like, all right. One, one time is enough for me. And what gap are you going for this one? Um, I was trying, well, straight down the middle. Yeah. Because last time I tried to aim to the right yeah. and I just smacked that tree. So wasn't trying to do that. Trying to go for that scuba again. I was feeling really confident after that uh, other scuba putt that I made. I will say with your scuba though, like if you miss, you're underneath the basket where your backhand putt, it would roll. It comes out so hyzer, especially when you try to throw hard. That yeah. you see, I'm just dropping it in the yeah. basket now. <laughs> I'm like, I am not touching chains. I'm not touching the rim. Uh, so Another straight shot here required. Yeah. Going forehand, get freaky. Down the middle. But you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. This just doesn't. Doesn't do what you... Yeah, just a little too much Anheuser, I would say, on that one. It's okay, because this is... Going oh, scuba again. again. Yeah. I was just feeling really confident. Well, I think, too, you have that tree on the right-hand side, oh, and that yeah, was right in your cut, way for your Heiser putt. The, but you can see, like, buzzer. you want tap-in pars. Like, yeah. that is nice. Give yourself a chance to make it. Because realistically, even if you put that back, am I in, allowed to touch another person's disc? After yeah, I you could actually throw another person's disc if you really wanted to, oh. if they allowed you to. Wow, well, I don't think I would do that. All right, final hole here. Um, at this point, I don't think oh. you really had a chance of winning. Um, a couple of those big number scores kind of kind of hurt you a little bit. Yeah. You need to basically make a three or four on yeah, this hole, enough. and this is one of the harder holes, and your drive, unfortunately, put you in a spot where, again, right here, you need a backhand. This is such a scary forehand throw. Yeah, and... So scary. And I, and I thought think, I was up. I thought I, I was up, and Brody was looking at the scorecard right here, and I was, what, two, three over? Yeah, I think, okay, but, so we're going to actually pause it real quick right here. So I think looking at this, though, I think you need to put a more overstable disc in your bag for your forehand because looking at that shot, yes, it's definitely a backhand, but the miss you want to have there is right. And if you don't throw that thrasher perfectly, it's not going to come out yeah. and it's going to keep going left. And you mm -hmm. had a couple of those that Went hit left, left and then rolled right yeah. and got you in a lot of trouble. So I think throwing something a little bit more stable, we might get maybe a crank or a surge or... Something like that in your bag to where when you throw those, you know, even if you throw too much Anheuser, it's still going to flex out and you'll be safe. Mm -hmm. But yes, in this situation, your disc actually was up and inbounds, but it's so dangerous over there because of how muddy it is and how steep it is. 
I was like, it's not worth it. Yeah, and in, uh, we just took a stroke for it. Um, but the scorecard, it was entered in wrong incorrectly on accident. Yeah, if I would have known you were actually a little closer than you were, we definitely might have had a conversation of, hey. <laughs> if you really want to get competitive yeah, and not play for fun. <laughs> if you want to try to win this thing, you might have to get a little muddy and uh, lay on your stomach. Because I, I don't think I would. I don't think I would have honestly. I it think was, I was just was, playing for fun, and yeah. So. And it was too dangerous. Like if one bad step, and you're slipping twenty feet into the water. So all right, we'll get back playing right now. Okay. With all that being said, you still have to execute this shot. <laughs> I do. Um, so I take my buzz SS, and I just try to yank it up there. I know it's going to go to the right. Flex out at the end. Oh, oh so I close. gosh! If you would have made that, I was so close, man. I was so close. If but you would have made that. All right, garage putt here. Last putt of the day. And let me just um, say, it was awesome watching you play. It was so much fun, and hopefully you'll play at another tournament, maybe the same one next year, because I think you did an amazing job for your first tournament. Congratulations to Jessica for winning. That was awesome. It was great playing with you guys. Look Crystal at those ratings. I know. I got a rating. 758, 728. Not bad, Juliusberg. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for post notifications so you can watch more videos of Brody and I. Keep slinging them discs.